Hello, hello, hello. Okay guys, I, or girls, guys and girls, I am going to do a video. I haven't done one on this particular look in a very long time. It's gonna be on my Addiction Palette 1. So, this was actually the first Addiction Palette that I purchased way back when, when they first came out. This is my original palette, I kid you not. And you can tell, like I've used it a lot, but I still have so much product in this palette. And I use this palette all the time. Now some colors obviously other than uh, um, more than others. I use Swanky a ton and you can see how I've dipped into it. I use Forthright and Zealous a lot in my crease um, even with other palettes but I have so much product left. Your $49 for your palette is ridiculous. I've had this what uh goodness like over a year and a half now. I don't know it's been like a year and a half at least. I've had it forever so I don't know when I'll ever have to purchase another one. So we're gonna do a really simple look today for beginners. I like to always try to do really easy eye looks for those of you that are not very comfortable, especially putting on multiple colors. I'm gonna talk you right through it and I think it's gonna be very helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna start out. We're gonna use this very light color. This is the first one, it's called Elated. It's just sort of a creamy white color, um, a creamy white tan, I guess. And I'm going to just use this. I'm just gonna basically smear it over my entire area. This is just gonna be my base color. I feel like when you do this as well, um, it's gonna cause your other colors to pop out and really show up more. I get a lot of questions about how do you make your colors show up more. By using a light base, I think that definitely helps. Something else I always do, and I've already applied it is, um, sorry about that light there, is I do put on my eye primer. I never, ever, ever put my eyeshadow on without applying an eye primer first and we have a really great eye primer. And when I put it on, I actually just dab it with my little small blending bud. I put it on with my finger and then I just kind of dab it in like that until it's um, basically just blended into my skin. All right, so there is my base color, which was called Elated. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this color here. It's called Brassy. It is very shimmery, pretty gold. I love this color. We're actually gonna use two colors on our lid. And even though we're using two colors on our lid, I promise this is still for beginners. You can totally do this, it's very easy. So I'm just gonna use my Deluxe Brush and I'm gonna start sort of in my inner corner and just about to the middle of my eye area on my lid, okay? So I'm just lightly applying that on. Ooh, I hear thunder outside. And it's okay to kind of go right here because you can highlight that inner corner of your eye, which as you guys know, opens up your eye area, makes your eyes appear larger, makes you look more awake, which we all need. I know I do. Especially if you're a mama. Sorry, I gotta back up when I do that hand because it picks up, the light picks up and bounces off and it tries to make me super bright. All right, so I'm just layering that on. I'll come in close here in just one second so you guys can see. So I'm only concentrating right here, inner corner, right to about right here, okay? I didn't really have to worry about what I was doing. I basically, as you guys know, I just slapped it on there. All right, so now I'm gonna take another deluxe brush and I'm gonna apply Swanky, which is one of my very favorite colors out of all of our palettes. This is the one I use so much. It is a, it's a very shimmery color as well. It's sort of a coppery brown. Uh, coppery is probably not the right word because there is no red in it. Um, I'll have to think of what that is, but it's gorgeous, I can tell you that. So I'm going to put that on the other part of my lid, okay? So I'm starting where I left off with um, Brassy and I'm just going to put that on the other part. So, so simple. So we're just doing half and half. And I am sort of blending those two together in the center of my lid, which is really simple to do. You just sort of overlap them a little bit. Let me back up once again so my light doesn't go crazy. You guys can see how very, very easy this is. You can get this color, this look on in no time at all, even if you are in a super big hurry in the mornings. I always am getting ready for work, kiddos, all that kind of stuff. You can put these on super fast and easy. All right, let me kind of look down so you guys can see how that is looking so far. Okay, now I'm gonna grab my crease brush, which is designed just for your crease area. It's perfect just for that. And I actually love to mix Forthright and Zealous, my two darkest colors in this palette. One is a shimmer, a little bit of, let's just say a half shimmer, and one is a matte. 
so I like to combine the two. I just like the color it creates. And once again, if you've seen any of my videos, you know you're just gonna push your brush into the top of where your eyeball is. Keep it pushed in just a little bit, don't hurt yourself. Don't poke yourself in the eye. And you're just gonna kind of swipe back and forth. I am gonna go lightly to the inner corner here in just one second, but right now I'm focusing on that outer V and to about the middle of my eye area. And then I will lightly sweep just a little bit, but I don't want very much. I just want some. I want the darker part of my color just to be more on the outside. And I'm bringing it up just a little bit more onto my brow bone area. For those of you that have hooded eyes, um, especially if you're familiar with my videos, I've mentioned this multiple times, it's always good to look at yourself, have your eyes open and kind of see where you're putting your shadow. A lot of people hide their shadows inside their crease so then when their eyes are open, you can't see what they're wearing until they actually look down. So always come up a little bit higher. You don't have to go all the way up to your brow. And I realize we all have different amounts of space from our brow to our lid and our crease. But just come up a little bit higher onto the brow area the brow bone that you have with your color and you're going to be able to see your color with your eyes open which is a really cool trick all right so now to the other side hopefully my light won't go crazy i'm doing the same thing and we're going to blend all this here in just a second so i'm usually not super careful when i apply my shadows because i know in the end blending is the most important and you'll fix everything that you need to as your last step So just bring that. Okay, how's that look? Okay, so before I blend, I want to just grab my deluxe brush one more time that had swanky on it. And I'm gonna come over just a little bit more. Just grab a little bit more of that swanky and put it on there. Same thing with brassy. You can always go and do that at the end and it just Helps everything to flow really nicely together. And then I'm just taking my crease and just real quick swiping over where I did that before. Super, super fast, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I've got an old, uh, well, it's not really an old, this is not a unique brush, but I really like this brush. This is actually what I use to apply my Malibu bronzer in my crease area, which I do a lot as a base. But today I just wanted to focus on palette one for you guys. But I'm gonna use this as my blending brush. You can also use your deluxe brush if you have a clean one for blending. So I'm just going over, I always kinda of hit the outer edges first and that's gonna take care of any jagged lines. And then I kind of go over what I've done, but I don't wanna put them all together, of course. I wanna be able to keep the color separate. So you just lightly do this. Some people get really crazy with their blending and I think um, some people don't get crazy enough. So if you'll just kind of apply medium pressure and just kind of keep checking your work and make sure it's looking natural because that's what we want in the end. We want everything to look very natural, very soft, not too crazy. I'm also gonna come in, I probably should have done my inner corner first, but that's okay. I'm just gonna sweep off any excess that's a little crazy right there and make sure that that's nice and blended. Now the last thing I want to do with that color is I'm just gonna grab a little bit of Zealous and I just want to focus it right here in my crease area. I have decided I wanted that a little bit darker. Now that is completely optional. You do not have to do this step, but just know anytime you feel like you wanna make it a little more smoky, you can do that just by applying a little more color. And all you do is just focus it right there in your crease. We've already got color up on our brow area, so I don't have to apply any more there. Just wanna give it a little more of depth right in my crease area. You can see exactly where I'm putting that. So you just kinda of gauge it and it's it's just personal preference, what each and every person decides they want to do and how smoky they want to get. All right, I'm just going to blend one more time. Make sure all of that blends together. All right, so hopefully, I'm hoping that light's okay, not blowing that out. Hope you guys can see that finished look. Okay, so the last two things I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my Addiction Palette 3 
Now you can do this with your Addiction Palette 1 if you choose to for your liner. You can choose your darkest brown if you want to. And what I do is I use my liner shader brush. I just use the liner end. I get it wet with either tap water or rose water. And then I apply my brush to my palette. Um, I prefer a black liner, so I always use Addiction Palette 3. And I use Irate, which is this last color here. And so that's gonna be my one of my last steps. And then of course I'll finish up with mascara. Okay, so the cool thing, if you're watching this video the month of May, if what I did just scared you using the liner shader brush and my Addiction Palette as my eyeliner, that's okay because we have a really excellent deal this month. A lot of my customers much prefer using our precision pencils on their eyes as their eyeliner rather than the palette. And this month we have got your choice of any color palette, any color precision pencil, either for your eyes or your lips, a set of mascara, and a really cute drawstring bag for your makeup to hold it in for $74. You're saving $19, which is a really excellent deal. So this is, um, for example, this is our color perfect. It is the absolute perfect black. I have so many people that have swapped over to these liners versus any other liners because they are smudge proof. They truly stay on all day. They're sweat proof. You can work out, you can work in the yard, you can go to the lake, you can do whatever you want. They stay on amazingly well. And the last thing I will do is of course mascara. Voila! <laughs> I'm done! I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy demo. It's so easy and that's why I want to show you and you can do that same color concept with any of our palettes. And remember, we have seven colors in every single one of our palettes. We have a mixture of matte, semi shimmer, and then full shimmer in every single one of these. So you can switch them up. You can create so many looks with these palettes. They're just gorgeous. I have so much fun creating new looks. You can mix your palettes. You can do whatever you want to with them. Come in for one last close up. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Just play, have fun, experiment, get your girlfriends together. It's just so much fun to be a girl and play with makeup. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on Facebook, thank you guys. And of course, thank you my, to my YouTube followers. I so appreciate you guys very, very much. If you have questions, please comment below and I'll also have the link below for you to order. Have a wonderful day, bye.